Welcome back to Console Cowboys. So in this video, we're going to make sure you understand how the simulator works and get familiar with its functionality before we start learning how to manipulate network traffic. So first things first, let's launch our VMware instance for our virtual car. Let's take a look at the normal functionality and how it works. If you have not set this up yet, reference the blog in the description that walks you through the setup process. The first thing you'll need to do once all the prerequisites are installed is run the setup underscore vcan. I got an error because I already have it set up. And then you'll need to run the simulator with the vcan0 interface that it created. This will show you the gauge cluster. And then you'll open up another tab and run the controls. You'll need to have this in focus in order to use any of the functionality. If we check our IF config, we'll see that we have a VCAN0 interface, which is similar to any of our Wi-Fi or Ethernet interfaces. We can send traffic over. The simulator is using this interface. If we hit the up arrows, you'll see that the speed is going up. We can then hit the left and right keys, and that will run the blinkers. The shift right and shift left with the X, A, and B commands, we'll open up the doors. You'll see those opening up, and then you'll see them closing. This is all the basic functionality that the simulator has to offer, and the different types of things we can play with without having to have a real car. If the simulator commands are not working for you, it's probably because you don't have the control panel in focus, so make sure you click that window. Next up, let's run a tool called CanDump that you installed with the prerequisites and use our VCAN0. This will just show us that we do indeed see traffic from the CAN network. The traffic scrolling across is pretty easy to understand. You'll see that it's coming from the VCAN0 interface in the first column. The second column is the ID of whatever value is being changed or manipulated on the network. Then there is a number in brackets, that's the number of bytes following it. So in the first example, two in the brackets followed by two bytes. Somewhere within those bytes are the values that are being changed on whatever interface is being requested to make changes. So as you can see, the format is pretty simple, but the data is scrolling pretty quickly. This was just showing you that there is data flowing across. In the next video, we'll get into manipulating that data and how to view it in a better way. But for now, if you learned something or if you liked the video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to see more videos coming, then hit the subscribe button.